It's not often you get the chance to be part of something truly wonderful. From the seed of an idea, this project has been just the most incredible adventure, resulting in me making not just one, but two paintings and the biggest surprise to all of us, <laughs> um, also to have written a song. I decided a few months back that I was I was going to do something for COP26 and the most obvious thing, given that I'm an artist, was to make a painting. The kids in the painting are all pupils at the most wonderful uh, primary school in the East End of Glasgow called St Anne's. I've been working with this primary school for a number of years and the idea that I had basically I wanted a group of kids um, but there had to, it had to reflect the multicultural nature of the city. In this wee school, there's an amazing cultural diversity. They have kids from, from all over the world. So I contacted the head teacher and explained what I was thinking about doing and she organised for a group of kids to come in and for me to take some photographs. Children have featured in my work since the very earliest days and it's been pointed out that I, I am able to represent children, to paint children in a very unsentimental way. And if you're able to tap into that interior world of childhood, it's an amazingly powerful way to tell a story. Had I asked adults to do what these children were able to do, it would have looked contrived. So I said to them, I want you to look straight to camera no smiles, and I want you to challenge the person who's looking at this, this, this finished painting. And the images I got were breathtaking. If I've got it right in this painting, this painting should be received as a challenge. That was my intention. Standing in front of this canvas, you should be made to feel slightly uncomfortable. I knew once I had the subject matter that the painting was going to be fine. I knew that without a shadow of a doubt. It was a question of time, it was a question of being in the studio, it was a question of working on it. But the biggest surprise to all of us was that we also ended up <laughs> with a song. I was a musician, I am a songwriter, and I knew that in St Anne's there was a really rich musical tradition. When I'd worked with them previously, it had been around about a song that they had written and recorded. And I'm not absolutely sure how the conversation arose, but I think Marie Hamilton and myself were saying something like, you know, wouldn't it have been great if, <laughs> um, wouldn't it would have been wonderful if there had been a song? And on the way home from that first meeting to the studio in the car, I got a song. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 